Good morning, everybody. Sasha here. Um, this is, I think, the second or third installment of Becoming Little Miss Bikini. Uh, episode, yeah, second or third installment and um, season three. So, uh, I always have hair issues in these things. Whatever. Anyway, um, it's a Sunday and we're back home after uh, Vegas and Pittsburgh and Philly and a two-week camping trip to the Sunshine Coast. And um, I blogged and I took some pictures and uh, for recipes and things and um, some more videos with some exercises I did. But the two weeks was really difficult because every day we were driving a lot, kind of much like how India was in January. Like I, I did my very best to bring like TRX and bands and stuff. But when you're traveling a certain number of hours during the day, by the time you get anywhere and you just want to eat and relax, it, it it's difficult. And so... I think I just at some point decided, like I was obsessing so much about, I want to do fall shows. I want to do fall shows. Oh my God, I have to, you know, exercise. I got a plan for my coach. And, you know, of course I bought the food to do and prep and brought the scale and things just became like really intense. And I really stopped liking the feeling of, um, being so occupied by fitness because I felt like, you know, it, I've always loved being fit, but competition has really taken um, my mind to a whole other level, and um, I don't—I couldn't stand that. So we brought stand-up paddle boards, and um, I intended on going hiking and doing some hit stuff and band work, and just you know keeping in check with my diet and everything while I was down there, not really having too much to drink because we generally don't drink. So I bought a few bottles of vodka and um, went on our merry way. And the first couple of days, I, we'd stopped at my parents' place in Vancouver, and um, we were visiting. It was a very short time, so we went walk for walks a few times a day with the dogs, but didn't do anything major. So I just did some abs and whatever. I thought that's okay. Then we got on the ferry and went to the Sunshine Coast and got to my friend's uh, campground on the lake, and it's beautiful. And um, the first couple of days I did banded workouts and abs and stuff and I wanted to do this hill every day which is about, you know, like a five minute jog to the base of the hill and about 30 minutes up. It's steep and beautiful view and then back down. I wanted to do that every morning. That was my intention. So day two, I come back from paddle boarding, put the paddle board down, which I was also paddle boarding the lake every morning and afternoon. And I walked into a dip and I sprained my left big toe. And I didn't really notice right away, but then all of a sudden I couldn't walk. Like I couldn't finish that, the, my step. It was just bending my toe backwards it was excruciating. So then there goes plyometrics, there goes sprints, there goes running, there goes hiking, at least for a couple of days. And I was walking around barefoot and limping. I had my toes taped together. It was ridiculous. And in that time I decided, you know, I can either beat myself up about the fact that I'm not exercising and tell myself I'm going to get fat and tell myself, oh my God, you're going to have so much cardio to do. Uh, you're going to hate prep and blah, blah, blah. But long story short is I couldn't control the situation with my legs, essentially. Like there's not much I could do. So I decided I'm just going to say, fuck it. You know what? Um... I've got a week and a half left and I'm going to enjoy good company. I'm going to enjoy food. I'm going to enjoy family. I'm going to enjoy relaxing, which I never do. I'm going like 15 hours a day. And so I did. And it was all right. Uh, I'm still struggling, like in my head, I'm still struggling and beating myself up with, why didn't you do it this way? Why did you have that piece of toast instead of just... Um, frying up some spinach with your tempeh like why did you let them you know make why did you let the Italian family make you a homemade pizza and then proceed to eat two pieces you know like just ridiculous stuff so um I ended up bloating up significantly and I've been home for a couple of days and of course that's gone down a ton <laughs> um got right back into exercising which like my abs are killing me right now it's just been a while since I've been in that much pain with my abs. Um, I did a shoulder workout on Friday. It's Sunday today. And everything feels really good. I was a bit weaker, obviously, because I hadn't done any major weights and just bands. So you hear a lot about people and, and how competition affects them and their bodies and their minds and, and how they look at themselves and how they obsess. And it's not untrue. The point is that you really have to have 
the ability to let go of things that you can't control when you're in a situation where you, there's nothing you can do, you're not going to get your work out of it. There is no gym. You've hurt yourself, you know. Um, rest, recover, and don't stress out because that's going to make it worse. And I try my best, and I'm not the best at it. But the point is, don't let your aspirations grind you down into less of a happy person. Those achievements aren't worth it if you can't be happy and have fun along the way. And so with that being said, I am like on the fence about competing this fall. Uh, personally, I don't actually know where we're going to live in the next month, month and a half. Um, I don't know where we're going to be working. I don't know anything. And trying to control my life right now is just like lighting my head on fire and then running around, you know, adding fuel to it and crying, why isn't it going out? Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop working out every day. That doesn't mean I'm not going to have goals or try to stay like ex extremely fit or even try to, to maintain prep and see what happens. But the point is, is su it's such a tumultuous time in my life right now that this is going to be very interesting for me because I haven't said absolutely no to competing, but I only have three and a half months to train. And I don't think that's going to be enough time to get my body where I want it to be the next time I show up to defend my pro card. Um, I did look at a couple of winter competitions because I'm obsessive and I did look at some spring ones. So it might be the spring and I might have to like travel back to Alberta or Canada to do it. But um, we've got so much crap going on in our lives right now, which I'm not at liberty to discuss all of it, but I will uh, when the time comes that it's just, I can't control everything and, I, and, and I'm succumbing to that. Just, and not in a negative way, it's just, I'm going to succumb to that. Um, so I'm gonna give myself the opportunity to get excited because Jeff and I are going to get married in like 33 days. And we're gonna do it at our beautiful house here in the woods. And it's gonna be lovely and it's gonna be very bohemian and very low key and there's gonna be about 20 of us and it's gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna let myself get excited about that instead of beat myself up about, you know, sort of spending my time beating myself up about what I did or did not do on vacation. Or, you know, beating myself up about where, where are we going to be in, in four weeks? I don't know. But what I do know is I'm going to marry the love of my life in, in our backyard of our beautiful acreage in the woods and uh, spend some time with family and friends and get the chance at a fresh start. I'm excited for a fresh start. There's so much stagnant crap going on that I'm really excited for a fresh start. And so... I guess the, the theme of this is don't be too hard on yourself. If prep isn't working out, stay as as close to it as you can, but maybe change your goals. Maybe it's not the right time right now. Um, it's it's not worth it's not worth the pain and suffering emotionally if it's it, it, to to get to a goal if it's not the right time. If it's the right time, it's going to happen, and I'll keep you posted on that. Also, um, just check out a couple of really quick, easy camping recipes that I made that were, you know, diet friendly. And uh, the couple of little videos I'm going to splice together using B Force bands, which I got, which um, I'll write a little bit more about so you guys can see what they are. But they're a great invention and um, they do help when you're on the road. Um, anyway, I'm going to go for a little hike this morning with Jeffrey and he's going to do some catch and release. I might too. And, um, I'm going to bring a book and I'm going to bring my B Force bands. Do a little bit of a, a little bit of a workout today, because it's beautiful outside and I'm I'm going to take my shirt off and I'm going to get a tan and I'm and I'm going to do some abs. I don't know if I can do abs. And enjoying this black coffee on this lovely July weekend. I hope you all are doing fabulously. Um, you're amazing the way you are, and if you if you're wanting to make improvements, that's already a beautiful thing. Um, don't kill yourself over stuff you can't control. Enjoy the journey, right? Is that what they say? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Talk to y'all soon. Ciao.